Speaking of climate change, John, what's your take on the whole Permian Highway pipeline? Uh, you know, I, like I said, I'm from upstate New York partially, and I, I have I go back with uh, the Iroquois Nation kids up there and stuff. So I have a, I do have respect for Native Americans. Um, I always have. Well, the Permian pipeline has nothing to do with Native Americans. Well, it, but it it goes over their land. Does it? I thought it just yeah. goes through the. I'm pissed about. I'm just pissed because it goes through the San Marcos River and the Blanco River and like the Hill Country. Okay, well that was the Dakota pipeline that was going. That through. was the Dakota. Yeah, pipeline. the Permian Hi- yeah. pipeline goes through Central Texas. It goes right through our backyard, dude. Like that's right. that's the issue that everyone should have been super up in arms about if you're on the left at all. Like you Sorry. know what I mean? Yeah, it's it's 105 degrees in here. It happens. Five yeah, hours sleep. I, I got you, buddy. Uh, but yeah, okay. So, um, I the problem is is that there's a lot of corporate interests that's that's where my mind goes first because there isn't going to be any common sense of course it makes sense not to ruin you know our our waterways here in texas and you know rivers that will run millions of years after we're here destroying them um but what i always look at immediately is well where what's the interest in this and usually you know with a salamander here in austin there's a there's a united nations interest and a global interest uh in in controlling our land and controlling you know the environment so once you start delving into that you you know 10 times out of 10 especially nowadays maybe nine times out of 10 you're going to find that there is a global there's a corporate foreign interest it all leads back to a corporate foreign interest right, but is, is, that's controlling the environmental. Sure, sure. I, I get all that. And I think that yeah. there's um, there's something to be said about how we're going about fighting climate change. And I think it can go into the fact that Austin's idea of fighting climate change is to just flood downtown with a bunch of scooters, you know, and build this um, this bullshit rail system that's going to tax people out of their house and home and do nothing in terms of really um, providing green transportation. That's where I think it's coming. But um, that being said, man, like that pipeline's getting built. Mm-hmm. Like that pipe, like that pipeline is getting built. Like the state legislator basically said that a private company can just use eminent domain. Um, mm-hmm. Well, they've been able to do it for a long time, right? But they were trying to stop yeah. that um, in the legislature, and that failed. That a, a private pipeline, a company, could e- use eminent domain. I think, I to, think that's evil. It's evil. It's like yeah. the most un-American thing that you could well, do. I've, is I've let experienced a private- it. My, my okay, family, right. my family had a cemetery in uh, in uh, Kentucky, and uh, they just claimed eminent domain, and they built a highway right through it it's over wrong. over graves. Dude, that that's fucked up. So I mean, come on, you know, do you really need yeah. high, you, uh, but, we Didn't need. Yeah, but but like a pro, for a private oil company do, to do that on your land that you bought and paid for, that's the most un-American. That's the most anti-conservative thing that you can do. And a whole bunch of Texas Republicans that we elected that talk about freedom and property rights and all that bullshit, mm-hmm. and, and they just signed off on it. It's like you're getting fucked by Kinder Morgan. Mm-hmm. And that's wrong. And then there was another bill that got passed in the Senate where it's now a felony to protest an oil pipeline or a critical infrastructure project at the site. And guess who signed that? Fucking Maskey McGee, Greg Abbott, signed yep. that shit into mm-hmm. law 2019, right at the very end of the legislative session. Yeah, I'm, I'm you know, like I said, I'm, let me just get it out there because I'm not an apologist for these people. I, I'm not... I'm not trying to sell you a bag of goods for the Republican Party or the you know, the conservative movement. I'm just an American.